Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. Good morning guys. It is pitch black. I need to clean out this little one for the tenth time this morning. <laughs> so looking at the litter train. There you go, little rascal. She's a little poo machine. And what date are we on today? Have I changed it? Nope. 9th of October, 6.50. And we've already walked the doggies. Ash, do you want your multivitamins you bought? Uh, no, I'm Okay. Right, so, time to go to work. Oh dear, we've had a major disaster. I think that my sprayer has broken. Oh. oh, what a pain in the bum. Oh, that's a little bit annoying, guys. The sprayer's broke. So that means the gardens that we need to disinfect and deodorise, I will now need to splash water over out of the bottle um, instead which isn't ideal and those sprayers those garden sprayers we use to wash our spray all our boots and tools off after each job as well so that we're not transferring any possible um, uh, viruses to the next client so uh, I do actually pass a garden center on the way to one of my clients but those sprayers we order online and we have like various trade accounts and if I if I go into a shop to get it so that I've got one today it's gonna be double the money what an absolute pain in the bum that is I've looked underneath and it's like there's a tiny hole split in the plastic <sighs> What to do? What to do? I'll, I'll manage. I'll manage up until I get to that garden centre, and then I'll see what's what. I think I'm probably going to have to stump up and buy an extortionately priced sprayer so that I can do my job properly. Hey! Oh, and Ash, um, I've got a lovely clean coat on. I always bring a couple of spares and another waterproof one to put over the top if it's really lashing it down as I've told you before but um, Ash washed both of our textile coats yesterday and Nick Wax waterproofed them you put it in your washing machine and it waterproofs the coat as it washes it so yeah I've got a nice clean fresh coat to wear uh, yeah so let's let's get on and see if I can find another sprayer or see if I can manage it's not muddy today so maybe my boots won't get completely caked up in mud, which will need a sprayer, the high-powered sprayer, to get the mud out. And I should just be able to slosh them in some disinfectant, my, my feet, uh, instead. But we'll see. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, my goodness. My job is just the best. The best job in will come back here and eat cuddles quick. <laughs> Oh my god, he just stays. <laughs> I love my job. Do you want some dinner, little tiny boy? Look at this mess you've both made. Are you okay, sweetheart? <coughs> oh, I know. I'm going to get you some dinner on this dirty mat. 
Oh, I've got in everybody and I was going to make, because I'm going to Susie's tomorrow and I'll be there obviously till Thursday, I was going to, hello, <laughs> you've had your dinner Mr Dave, little David, uh, I was going to make a um, big lasagna but I've got no cheese and I'm pretty sure that you can't make a lasagna, you can't make a lasagna without cheese um i have got a cheesy pasta bake sauce would that work i don't know so i've got white lasagna sauce cheesy pasta bake sauce bolognese sauce what are you doing in her messy pile of hay i need to clear all this up she's had a party hasn't she while we've been out at least she keeps it all on there, on my little rug. Get out of there, you. What are you doing? No, not rolling in whatever that is. Oh, get it. You little rascal. You've had your tea. Uh, and when I went to Asda, we haven't in the last couple of years got trick-or-treaters coming down our street because it's all tucked away and hidden. But um, these were two for three pound. So I bought them just in case. I mean, that's terrifying, isn't it? If you get a uh, go out, please. <laughs> if you got kids coming to the door and you didn't have anything to give them, that would be, that would be gutting. Um, so yeah, do I try and make a lasagna with, without cheese? Surely the cheesy pasta bake will work. Just layer it up. I'm going to try it. And then at least Asher's got something to eat, hasn't he? And then that'll do him for... Maybe tomorrow as well. Let's give it a go. I'll let you know if it works. <laughs> if you try and make a lasagna without any cheese, I'll let you know if it works. decided against it it's just it's not gonna work it's all a bit runny it needs some cheese so we do have chicken breasts as well chicken breasts <laughs> peppers so I could do like fajitas or something I'm so indecisive let me let me think more on this I know I'm right I'm all over the place and I'll tell you for why this, this is what happens when you're going through shock and grief and stuff. You know, I'm going away tomorrow and I, I try and think, what do I have to do to keep the house going while I'm not here? And, I, and then you feel like you're neglecting your husband or whatever, so you feel like you need to cook food for while he's away when he's capable of doing it. And then I get all panicked that I've not done enough. Um... So I've sacked off all the cooking, I've rung Ash, he's on his way home from work and he's told me not to worry about it and just to, to stop worrying about stuff. I don't need to cook, you know, he will get something to eat or he'll cook when he gets in. I think you just, you try and do it all and when you don't do it or something, you, you feel... Like you've let everybody down or, I don't know. So I've made a coffee to try and snap myself out of my what to do, should I do this, what should I do before I leave tomorrow, what sort of mo mood. And um, just realised for a second that no, no one's going to starve in this household. I don't need to do everything all at once. And if if I want a, a slice of toast later and no dinner, that's also fine. You know, David's now drinking out of the rabbit's water bowl. I'm going to have to clean that because Cookie will wonder why on earth little ginger dogs have been drinking out of her water. Can I have a cuddle? 
<laughs> oh, is Daddy home? Is Daddy there? I don't know whether he is there. Are you okay, Moo Moo? Stay there. Stay, stay. Stay. I want to cuddle. Ready? Oh, he's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Minty Moo. Mm. Your lips are all wet from drinking. Oh, it is Daddy. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it is your daddy. Well done. You seem better, Minky Moo. I'm putting the washing on. <laughs> Go find him then. Go find Dad. Go find Daddy. <laughs> You're a noisy little one. And your dad, you're so good at dancing. Aren't you? Dicky, 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 dicky. Oh, we're good at dancing, Minky Moo. Oh, come here. <laughs> I can't get you when you're dancing around. Stay, <laughs> Minky Moo. You're too fast. Be nice. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's not very good to have on the, the vlog, is it? Bum sniffing. Just watching uh, one of the dog poo fairies doing the work. Doing his work at home. Before he mows the lawn, there should only be a couple of poo-poos. Might be picking up rabbit poops. And I've just caught him smiling at the rabbits and talking to him. I love it. I love it when I catch... I mean, he always does it anyway. <laughs> oh, look at that bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear. I'm in, I'm in one of those real roller coaster emotion days I, I find myself going all really down and then really indecisive then try to do loads of stuff and then I, and then I crash and then I get upset and then I don't know what to do and then I get up, I speak too fast and I can't get all my words out oh it's exhausting do you know what I can't wait to get my work done tomorrow um and go and see Sue's. I've missed her so much. Oh, he's mowing the lawn, bless him. I've missed her so much. Um, I told her yesterday I'd missed, I missed her terribly. And she said she missed me as well. Like we still do little voice notes and stuff. Uh, I got her some, her and Jason, some of the little ice buns from Asda. You can't order them on the online shop, anything from the bakery. You have to go in store to get it. Excuse me. Jason loves them. And me and Susie joke when I bring some round that none, none of the, them are for Jason. <laughs> and he goes, you better save me some. And we're like, no, we're going to eat all of them. But I bought two packets. So loads for Jason. And me and Susie will have a couple as well. Uh... I'm sorry about this. I don't know what. This it's the reality of it. It's just just blah. Just a weird, weird day. I might even add this on to tomorrow because I need to. I see if there's anything new in Primark. I don't think I've shown you the home stuff for a, a long while, so I might do that. I don't know if any of you are interested. I know we've got some um, gents watching. Whether you want me to show you the men's section or the kiddies section, it's normally just the ladies section and the homeware. But let me know if you want to see the men's stuff and the kiddies stuff, and I'll let you. I'll let you see. But I'll be yeah, I'll be nipping to Primark just on the way to Susie tomorrow. I've got a new client in the morning for an initial clean. Lots of poop, poop to scoop. Um. So yeah, I, th I should go and do some crafting. Really, I should I should sit down and try and switch off for a bit. While I think of it again, I want to say a huge thanks to that girl, Victoria, for your super thanks and truth be known, for your super thanks. Thank you so much. It helps me so much. It helps me travel around and get to Sue's. Oh. Hello. Hello, little boy. 
the amount of money that we spend on these blooming treaters. You don't even eat the white bait, you just eat the chicken off them, don't you? You don't like eating the white bits, we put it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite mild this morning but with Minky being so teeny weeny we've put a little raincoat on haven't we Moo? What have you found? Sniffy walkie sniffy walkies What a lovely day isn't it? Go on, Moo you can go <laughs> Come this way down. This way Moo No she's the boss she says I'm not ready to go that way yet thank you I just wanted to share with everybody I don't know if anybody else does this but when we take them for a walk we do like funny <laughs> challenges and stuff and Dave's what we call a wizardy wazzock scout and, it, and, he, and we give him a wizardy wazzock badge every time we go on a walk like a ranger scout and today he was very observant he was looking around corners making sure that you know he's checking for danger so today he's been awarded his wizardy Wazzock, watch your badge. Well done, Dave. Mm. Hello, my darling. There's no more sweeties. You've had one now. You've both had one. Stay. Hello, cook, cook. Oh, what a funny morning. Yeah, <laughs> we like to make the the walkies fun and award Dave and Minky different badges when they were. Well, when Dave was a puppy and they used to go to Uncle Terry's every day when we lived near Uncle Terry, when I went to work, um, we did zombie apocalypse training <laughs> when Dave was growing up. So I would take the dogs to Terry's, our brothers, and he would do like uh, different challenges with the dogs to make sure they were zombie apocalypse ready. <laughs> and I got there one day and I remember... There was a note on his door saying, shh, this is zombie apocalypse training, level two, lesson five. Um, let the dogs off at the door and see if they can find me. So I <laughs> I said, right guys, this is your zombie apocalypse training, level four or whatever, level two, lesson five. Get ready, go find him. And I opened the door and they ran round the house and he was hid behind the big curtain at the at his front door and they found him it was so funny <laughs> anyway guys I'm feeling uh, probably still a bit as you can tell manicky crazy but I'm alright I slept through, it's the 10th of October half 7 uh, appreciate all your comments and um, suggestions about help and counselling and stuff and I have been to counselling before, it's not for me, because I can talk to all you lot, you help me more than you will ever, ever know. Talking to the camera helps me more than anything. Um, trauma therapy helps me more than anything, but the waiting list is a year and a half long, uh, and if there's no waiting list, it's, it's extremely expensive, like between 80 and 120 pound, I think, per hour session. So I do have my trauma therapy techniques that I utilise when I get like that. Um, you know, all, all the way through this, I just think about Suze and my mum and Terry and Kevin and Ash and Jason. And every, every single one of us is going through it, but no way near as much as Suze. And Suze just... She has no choice. She's just got to deal with it. We all have a choice at how we 
move forward because we're allowed to move forward is it's it's a sick thought but it's just the way it is but thank you all for your comments because they really do help and I'm going to see Susie today so you can see that I'm already uplifted I said to her yesterday on Facebook that I feel like I feel like it's Christmas Eve the night before I go to see her and uh I think the horrible thing is that we would never have been this close if this horror hadn't have happened. And again, that is just an awful thing to say, but it's the truth. And I, and that's what makes it so sad now that I don't want to be apart from her for a second. And she doesn't want to be apart from me. And it, we're going to get ripped apart. But, um... Again, I've done my makeup, so I'm not going to cry. I try and do my makeup right so that um, I I don't cry because I don't want to mess it up. And I'll well up and I'll make it and I'll dab it and I'll make it go. But I need to go. I need to message Susie to see if she wants me to bring her anything. I need to get out to work. Um, and I'm going to nip to Primark. Uh, on the way to Susie and see if they've got any new bits in that you lot would like to see or Suze would like to see. Um, and then I'll be with my sis.
people sure think they know what seems best. To try to argue, let's give it a rest. Yeah, pay no mind to what I just said. This is a safe place to lightly tread between your arms. I found the Moly. <laughs> I'm supposed to get to Sue's really early and we've had a shop evacuation and things are going mental. Right, I've got what I needed to get for Susie at Asda. I've got what I needed to get Ash at Primark. Sorry, I couldn't give you a massive show around. I've showed you some of the Christmas bits that are in. Um, and I will show you around Primark again when I get more time because today ran away with me. But um, aircon's on because it's blooming boiling and I'm now gonna go and see Sue's I've got some um, chickeny bites from the sushi place and I'm just gonna switch off with my sister as much as we can uh, I love you all so much uh, thank you for everything and I'll see you soon Hi everybody, look who's, look who's here, oh I just hit you in the face with my glasses. I thought you kissed me. Well mm. I did, again. <laughs> oh look it's my shoes. Hi guys. Hi guys. Right, I'm going to spend some quality time with my tiny shoes because this is the first time she just stepped out of the, the house and she went, oh my god, the, the world. I haven't been out in months at all, I haven't. I haven't even been out in the garden. I couldn't bring myself to do it emotionally or physically. But today I feel okay. And I'm here. I'm here early and we're going to go for a little tiny walk. See if the, the coffee shop's open. Maybe. If not, I turn around and go back home. Yeah. <laughs> Love you all so much. Bye, guys. Thank you.